In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create book page templates, and then we'll look at how to create a book template on the back of that. So I'm going to create a new book page template to start with. I'm going to create this in my toolbox under templates, and then I have a subfolder for book pages and a separate one for books for a reason we'll cover later. So under book pages, I want to create a new book page. All book page templates basically start out as book pages. New object, book page, I'm going to give this a title of standard slide. I've got no template to select from this. Click OK. Now this has created a brand new book page for me and it's got some stuff on it at the moment just because the default style is flat. I'm going to select standard on here which is completely blank and now I can add the things that I want to on here. So I'm just going to add a few default things that I want to appear on every single book page that I create using this template. Okay, so I've got a few default things in here so far. I've just got a header and I've put the company logo in here as well. Now, considering this is going to be a book page template and it's going to have, I'm going to use it for one of my book pages, I want the title of it here and I'm going to use the title of the book page itself. So the easiest way of doing that is to insert a placeholder and I'm going to put that basically in here. It's going to be that far along and I'm going to say that I want to use the book page title in here and that is called standard slide because that's what I've called it here. I just need to make that the right size and align it correctly. So let me do that. Okay, and that will do there. So now when I create a new book page and give it a title, it's gonna insert that title in here, not the text standard title because I have a placeholder. The other thing I like to do in here, I like to add a couple of um, guides to make sure that the authors keep within the bounds of where they should be typing text. I like a bit of space around the slide just because it looks a bit nicer. So let me add those. So that will just give some guides for the users to work within. Now the next thing I want to do is I want um, this for my standard slide. I just want to have a single text box in it. So I'm going to create that text box here. I'm going to put the, this within the guides. And this is why I put these guides in here. And that's going to be my full screen text box right in there where I'm going to have all of my text. And I'm actually going to enter some default text in here as well. Okay, and we'll just do that. And I'll show you what we'll use that for later. Okay, so that's my default standard slide. I'm happy with that. So I am going to save it. And exit. Now that gives me a standard slide. This is a book page. Now I want to say that I want to use this as a template. Where I do that is over here under properties for this book page. Under subtype, I select book page template. This is now a template. You can see I've got a dotted line around the edge of that. Now there's a couple of other properties in here. Use as template and short description. Just selecting use as template will not make it a template. What that does, and I'll show you here, I'm going to select that and my template description I'm going to enter. I'm just going to put some information in here about this template and I'm going to save that. Okay, so what this has done, this is going to create, this has created the template for me and this use as template, what this is for is if I now go and create a new object, you see there's a tab here called templates. This appears under there now and you can see that it's actually using the same description as I gave it and if I hover over I get a, a little thumbnail of it. This, the fact that it appears on this template thing here that is because I have use as template selected, but that doesn't necessarily make it a template in and of itself. It's this subtype of book page template that does that. Now, I actually want to create several different 
book page templates because I've got this one here that's just a single block of text. Maybe I want one that's got two columns of text or three columns of text or one that's got text and images in there. So very important here. What I want to do is create another template that's using this same one here. And I'll show you why that's important in a second. But what I'm going to do, instead of creating a new one via create new book page or via using this template here, I'm going to duplicate this. Just going to hit that duplicate button. And I'm going to give this one a... I'm just going to give that one a new name in here. Now this is already a template because I copied a template. So this is already a book page template. But what I want to do here, this is where I want to have my two text columns. So let me drag this. Maybe about here. And I want to have another text block that's exactly the same as that. So copy, paste, and this one I'm going to drop right on there. And I can probably close these up a bit just so that they're about the same and about in the middle. Okay, so now I have text, two text boxes on my slide, which is called two text columns. That's all I need to change on this. So I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to create one last book page template that's got images on it. So I'm going to take the same one again. I'm going to duplicate it. Actually, let me take, I'm going to take this one, duplicate it. I could have taken the other one. It doesn't make a difference. And here I'm going to call this one text and one image. So now I'm going to get rid of this text box. And I'm specifically getting rid of this text box and keeping this one for a reason I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to remove that, extend this a bit. And then I'm going to insert an image into this. Now, it wants me to select an image. I don't want an image. I just want a placeholder for it at the moment. So I'm going to cancel that. That will still leave me this box in here, though. So I can now put this box here, and, and I've got the guides in there, and that's why. So I can line all of this up nicely. And that is where I'm going to put my images. Okay, maybe I can make that slightly bigger if I want to. But this is where the images are going to be. There's no image selected at the moment. That's fine. I don't care. So again, save that, exit. The other thing I haven't done is I haven't updated the template description for these. So I'm going to say use for a two column text slide. And this one I'm going to say use for a Okay, so we're all good there. So now I have my three book page slide, uh, my three book page templates. Okay, so let's go and use one of those and I'll show you how this all works now. So if I create a new slide, actually, I'll create it in content because I, I don't care. I'm not going to keep this. So I'm going to create a new slide and I don't want to create it in my toolbox. And you can see here that I've now got my three templates in here. I'm going to say this is a standard slide. And I'm going to call it demo for, demo for template. Okay, so now this has pulled in all of my default text, my images, my heading. Uh, this, is, this title is being pulled from the new name that I just gave it. So this is pulling in my template perfectly well. Now, the thing I want to show you here is say I change this text. And I say, so I've just put some default content in there. Now, say I, I decide that I don't really want this as one column now. I really want two columns in there. So it's the page itself by clicking on the gray bit around the outside, or I could go, come under objects and select page. I can change this template here and I can say, I really want this to be two text columns. So I select that. Now what happens is this one shrinks down and it gives me a new one here. But note that it's kept my content here. That's because this text box has a specific identifier in here. 
And as long as I have a text box with the same identifier on my different templates, it will retain that content. So if I say that I really want this to be um, one text and one image, it will select that. I've got my image placeholder here, and now I've still got my content in here, and I can change back again if I really want to. So as again, as long as I've got an object called that thing, then it will retain it even when I change the template. So this is why I wanted to create one and then create the next book page template using the already existing template so that it retains this text box here. And if I did a three text column one, I would want to start from the two text column template. So it will always retain at least two of those. Very important to remember to do that. Okay, so I'm going to ignore that now. I'm gonna throw that away because I don't need to keep it. Okay, so back to here. I now have my three book page templates. They're all set up with a subtype of book page template. Now I'm gonna create a book that uses these templates. Now these are slightly different the way book templates work. I can still create a book to use as a template, but the way they work is slightly different. So I'm gonna create a new book in here, and I'm gonna call it standard standard presentation. Okay, there is no subtype here to say this is a template. What happens is when you create a new book, you say use this book, standard presentation, as a template, and it will use it. There's no real template type for a book. Now I want to insert a bunch of things in here. Okay, so say in all of my presentations, I want to have, for example, a, a, a table of contents and I want um, learning objectives and then I want my content in there and then some other things as well. Now, I do not put my book page templates inside this book. What I want to do is create book pages within here that use those templates. So let's look at how we're gonna do that. Say, first of all, I want a table of contents slide. I always want that in my standard presentation. So here, I'm gonna say I want a new object and I want to use this template here, my one text and one image. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna call this because I want every presentation to have a table of contents. And you can see I've got the template here. I can change it here if I want to, but I've just selected it, so why would I? So now I've got this, it's called table of contents and it's pulling in my template. If I go to here, it's pulling in my one text and one image template. So here is where I would put my text and I would have, for example, okay, again, remember that this, um, what I'm creating here is a template within the book or basically a starting point within the book. I also want to put an image in here. So we've got the image placeholder already. I just need to go and select an image for it. So let me go into here replace from one within the work area table of contents let me insert this one okay so this is going to insert that if i don't like the exact alignment of it i can change that a bit so let me see let me make it full size move it across to here and keep it within my guides so that looks good there Good, so that is my table of contents slide that I'm gonna use as a template within my book. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. Now this is a book page, not a book page template, and I want to leave it as a book page. Okay, now let me insert another one that I'm gonna do basically the same thing with, but this is going to be my my learning objectives slide. I'm gonna use the same type of template for it, okay? And this is how it's, it's different for books in that I'm creating book pages that are used, they're different book pages that are using the same template. So click okay. And so it's already got the title in here. So I need to change this text. And again, I'm just putting some boilerplate text in here. 
And again, I want to insert an image in here. This time I'll use my objectives image. And again, I can resize that so it fits within everything. And that looks good there. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. Then again, within my standard presentation, I'm going to insert a, another book page, and this is just going to be my standard slide. And I'm just going to call it this. And I'm not going to make any changes to this at all. So, and I can continue through here, adding book pages to this book and basing those on the template. Now this is another reason why I've got my book pages templates in here and my books template in here, just to keep them separate and so that I don't get the wrong thing in the wrong place and accidentally put templates under a book because I should always put book pages under a book. So let's now see what this has done for us. I'm gonna save everything to the server just to be on the safe side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new book and I'm going to use my standard presentation book template as the basis for that. So I'll come back down to content. I'll come into here. Note there is no book template in here. So I'm going to go to objects, book. Here I can say I want to use this particular template that I've created. It's under books and it's called standard presentation. Okay, I'm going to select that. And I'm going to just call it something simple, click OK. Now what that does for me is that creates a new book for me and that book has these things in it. It has these book pages. Okay, This is an entirely new page though. It is not this object here. You can see this one has a UID that starts to be D8, something or other, and it's only in one place. This one down here is also only in one place, and this has one FF06. So it's an entirely separate object. But importantly, if I go into edit this, this is still using that template that I told it to when I created this book page within my book that I'm now using as a template. So I've got my one text and one image template in here, and this has got all of the standard stuff that I put in it that I want to be in my book. And that is how all of this works. I now have my book page templates. I've got three of those. I've got a book that I can use as a template that contains a number of book pages that are based on the templates that I've just created. And whenever I create a new book and choose standard presentation as the template, even though it's not a template type because you don't get type template types for books, it will automatically include all of the default slides I want to have in my presentation. And that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope you found that useful.